All right, so the selling is getting really intense now. Almost panicky, I would say. Uh, Dow close to being down 300 just a short time ago. We might close down more than 300. Who knows? This is kind of a Brexit type selling. Everybody is just losing their shit because they're afraid that the Fed is going to raise rates by a quarter of a point to 75 basis points. Now, some people will end up getting an education out of this. Most people will not take this to heart. They will not even attempt to learn anything from this. This rote, reflexive, mechanical, panicky selling based on some perception that if interest rates go up, the stock market is going to go down. Uh, this will be, when it, when it actually happens, when we see the rate increase, and we still haven't seen one yet, but I hope there is one. I truly hope there is one. Uh, this will be another one of those situations, much like we have witnessed over the past eight years when uh, they started cutting rates and engaging in extraordinary monetary operations, extraordinary monetary measures, the central banks I'm talking about, and all the fools out there predicted hyperinflation and a collapse in the dollar and gold going to $10,000 an ounce, okay? This is absolutely, we didn't get any of those things, okay? Yes, the stock market climbed when the rates were cut. However, at the same time, we saw uh, the fiscal flows, fiscal spending, government spending jump from well below $4 trillion to well, well above $4 trillion annually. In fact, running at 4.3, 4 4.5 in 2009, almost 4.6. This year, it'll be almost 4.6 again, trillion every year. Nobody talks about that, okay? And again, that government spending... That's part of GDP that flows to income, blah, blah, blah. I've explained all these things. So everyone's saying, well, the stock market went up on the rate cuts. And I'm sure, you know, lower interest rates were a factor to some degree. But don't forget, lower interest rates remove income. That's a net reduction of income from the economy. And you could see it very, very clearly. So really on balance it was a negative that's how come we since that whole entire uh episode of those extraordinary measures we have barely been above two percent or three percent growth the entire time okay if in fact the rate cutting and the asset purchases were as stimulative as all these supposedly very smart people were telling us we should have been growing seven, eight, nine, ten percent annually, okay? When you take reserves from eight hundred billion to four trillion and you're growing at two percent or one percent, I don't see how people cannot connect the dots with that. So some people out there will look at what happens. And by the way, I'm the only one saying this. The only one saying this. You don't even hear the other MMT guys coming out making this prediction. So when it happens, you know, just understand. I am the only one making this prediction. I am stepping out. And by the way, by the same token, if I'm wrong on this, if the stock market collapses, then by all means... You have every license to attack me and what I have forecast, etc. But it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. All right. So this is a crazy, insane sell-off. It's the zombies. It's the cockroaches. Uh, it's people who are, um, uh, what should I say, challenged in terms of knowledge and understanding. They're ideologically disposed to see things a certain way, which basically would be like the people who thought, you know, the sun revolved around the earth. It's worse, actually, because back then they, they had no real means to understand this. I mean, this this is very cut and dried. I'm telling you. So go ahead and sell whoever wants to sell. I'm a buyer today. Uh, we will see what happens when the Fed ultimately raises rates. And again, I'm, I've been the only guy consistently saying that that was going to happen. You had all the other idiots who were wrong the first time with their stupid hyperinflation nonsense. 
about the rate cuts, now saying the Fed was never going to be able to raise rates again. So that's, we're going to be wrong again too. All right? I will be the only one right. See you later. Bye-bye.